Hey guys, it is Born back again with another video. I wanted to take a moment to go over a piece of the game that I feel like a lot of people kind of mull over and don't really pay too much attention to. And that is the Adventurer's Handbook. Now, especially if you're playing on PS4, that will be the small book symbol in the top right hand corner of the rotary wheel. So, if you go there, it'll open up this handbook. Now, the reason this handbook is important, well, several reasons this handbook is important. First thing you have is the Experience tab. Now, the Experience tab has several different chapters to it and different challenges within each chapter. Completing those challenges will give you rewards. It'll increase your adventure rank, which is very important for those of you trying to raise your adventure rank. And it will ultimately, once you finish a chapter, give you investigation progress rewards, which you'll see on the left-hand side there. Now, you'll also note that each chapter will give you Prima Gems, and this will increase as you go along. See, so at Chapter 4, you get 100 Prima Gems. You continue going, and it keeps spinning bigger. Now, Chapter 7, I'm working towards 150. So this is a great source of Prima Gems for free-to-play players, for anyone, really. It also gives you experience books. It gives you Mora which will become much more important as you progress through the game. And like I mentioned before, it will give you adventure rank, which uh, starts to build with 100 for each each accomplishment that you go through. And some of these are very simple. Uh, you know, activating six teleports, killing an enemy. Very, very simple stuff. Uh, they get harder progressively as you go, but the rewards also get larger. So very important piece. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but did want to give you a heads up on that. There's several other parts of the book, however. You have commissions, which this is going to be your daily commissions, which my last video you could check out talked about daily commissions. Um, and that's going to organize them for you, tell you what they are, just give you a brief synopsis of what they are. You have domains. This is going to show you all the different domains you've unlocked where you can go in and unlock equipment, uh, upgrade materials, uh, so this is very good as well. You can check what, e what each one rewards and the different types available. And then finally, you have bosses. Now, a boss section is very interesting because it's going to show you ley lines that you can do, which are small challenges around the map that give you rewards such as Mora or Experience. It's going to have regular bosses, which, important to note here, does not cost resin. To fight these bosses and claim the rewards. Now you can see the rewards listed there in the bottom right hand corner. All of these bosses you can fight for free. Now it does also have bosses in here that do require resin. As you can see the treasure collection cost, uh, the wolf, the cubes, the plants, different bosses like that. But there are a few in here including these two down here, don't let it, let it trick you, that are free to kill and collect materials from. And those are Ascension materials, primarily Ascension. Uh, they can be upgrades. Uh, they give you Mora. Uh, those are materials you will need throughout the game. Some even give you artifacts. So very important. And if you go through here, you can actually click, in my case, X to navigate. And it will actually take you to your map and show you where you can fight that enemy. So then you would just teleport there, for example and go fight that enemy and kill them and collect their uh, their rewards. Now, it is important to note that not every single boss, mini boss, I should call them, not every single mini boss is going to be shown through the Adventurer's Handbook. This gives you a small selection of them that you can go through and find. Uh, it may be helpful if you're very interested in grinding. Uh, there are some videos out there, I may make one in the future, where you can look up where you can go to find these specific bosses and other bosses that you can fight because there are some that are not going to be listed here. Clearly, there's more than just the Cryo Abyss Mage. There are also Fire Mages and the Hydro Mages. Uh, there's more than just the Ruin Guards. They have a different version of those. Uh, there are different types of bosses that you can't fight, so it's worth checking out. But just wanted to do a short video. Just wanted to point this out. Uh, you can check that out. It does have a lot of content for you. Make sure to make use of it because it will help you very much in leveling up and grinding your gear and your characters.
uh, that's it for me today. Um, thank you so much for checking out my video. Check out the description below. I'm going to be including my Twitch, all the different information, how you can follow me on social media, uh, join our Discord. That's going to be listed at the bottom, and uh, I'll have more videos for you guys in the future. Thank you so much for checking me out.